generic greetings and welcome back to the magnificent Sadder's heat signature once again today's beverage is not too bad at all this is a strawberry and banana smoothie not my favorite beverage i got it because it was on discount i tend to do that when it's uh, new beverages or unknown things it's okay but uh, refreshing nonetheless anyway previous episode of heat signature which incidentally was the last episode of the series i failed the personal mission the objective was to get enough credits to afford us some gadgets and things like that and sadly it just wasn't good enough my player wasn't good enough and uh, sadly failed that and the character i think the character actually died or, or was captured one of the two either way failed it and end the series there but a lot of people want to see more Heat Signature, which is fine with me because this is one of my favourite games released this year. And also, I've got a bit of a challenge. Someone asked, why don't we do more harder missions? So missions that are a little bit more difficult. That got me thinking, why not set a challenge? Why not create a new galaxy, have a fresh character and do the hardest missions we can until the character is either killed or captured? And that's what we're going to be doing here. So I've got a new galaxy. You can see the galaxy here. This galaxy number two. Uh, and if I scroll out, you can see that we are indeed on the very first station. There is no liberation progress whatsoever. There you go. No liberation progress. No liberations available. And also this character is brand spanking. You can see we've got a long blade and a rechargeable long range crash beam. No credits other than what you start with. And that is us. And we've got a personal mission, but we don't care. All we care about is the missions we can get here. And we're going to do every single hard one we can. So this one here is assassinate Celestine Salt. They have, oh, we've got a time limit of just over a minute, 72 seconds there. Guards are armed with a gun and a glitch dash, which is teleport to us as soon as they hear anything suspicious. The bosses are armed with a shotgun, so we're going to accept that, go to the left, and then quickly go out and head over. By the time we get to our destination, we've probably only got about 50 seconds left, depending on where the docking clamp is. We might be lucky and be on the same side. We might not, might be over the other side and we'll overshoot it. But I reckon if we getting here with 50 seconds left we should be okay first things first have a look at the ship from the outside it doesn't look to be too too large so that's okay we're going to dock up to the back and then immediately pause the game and have a look around so we can see that we have, well this is a, um, a sovereign ship, so it's all this sort of volcanic obsidian glass type stuff. We've got a couple of guards here, we've got one, two, three guards. We have on the right again three guards there, 48 seconds until we fail the mission. However, if we can get a level 2 key card, which is over there, we should be able, hopefully, to get and kill the pilot. And then we've got enough time to uh, go and kill them. As I said, these guys have a glitch dash and also... Also a, what else have they got? Glitch dash and a shotgun and other stuff. So what I'm going to do is head in here very quickly, go this way. This guy's coming around the outside. I'm going to immediately just go this way and bang, that guy's being taken out. Obviously this guy's going to say intruder alert and run towards me. I don't really care too much. I'm going to then go around the corner and then take that person out. Obviously the shot is going to whiz past me. That is fine. I'm going to then pick up that shotgun, another gun. That guy's going to teleport or at least wanted to teleport next to me. I'm going to pull a gun out and shoot him. There we go. Start shooting everybody. I will then switch over to the shotgun and then take that person out. Hang on. Why is the shotgun not working? Now it's working. Uh, and then more people glitch dashing towards me. I will then fire the gun because that's reloaded. And then we should be able to, I think, probably switch the long blade, take that person out, switch over to mm, probably the shotgun. And then that person's now taken out. And then this person also fancies his chances, and he's gone as well. 20 seconds until we fail the mission, so we need to get over to there. So this guy's coming around. I will obviously immediately take that guy out as quickly as possible, run in here, and then, oh hi, he's now dead. All right, so... We've managed to pretty much murder it, all of the crew. We will quickly get on this and then we'll turn the ship around because we don't want it to go where it was going before. Someone is coming around the corner, they will see that, then immediately go intruder alert, run towards that, and then it's job done. And yeah, we've managed to kill a lot of the crew. There's nothing I really need to pick up here, it's just guns and ammo and stuff like that. I am actually going to go around them and then pick all of this up. Um, that was a bit of a weird trigger, all of that. There was a lot of stuff going on there. Actually, what I'll do, because otherwise I'll forget, is just do a crash beam on that turret because if we don't, then there might be a little bit of an issue you uh, with those um, there we go there's the main mission done uh, that might be a little bit of an issue with uh, me going around a turret or you know very uh, you know in, basking in the glow of all of the uh, people that I've killed and then um, you know getting shot by a turret would be quite quite uh, deflating to say the least we managed to pick up a rechargeable long-range glitch trap which is a nice piece of equipment we will get on the uh, on the controls there which sends the ship back to the station and to be honest with you we might as well stay on the station on the ship because once you get to your destination you uh, immediately get kicked out so that's fine uh, we've opened that we've opened that there's a lot of other gear around it's just all just 
pistols and shotguns and stuff so we don't need to pick any of that up because um well it's automatically sold for the price of zero because that's what it's worth so yeah not a bad first mission very bloody we knew it was going to be anywhere um was probably a little bit more uh crazy than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be able to take a couple of them out, but because one of them shouted, there they went to that person, shouted, they saw the body, teleported over there. There was a lot of teleportation. Because I've got the guns and the shotguns, I managed to pick things up and shoot and things like that, but obviously shooting then causes more people to jump towards me and blah, blah, blah. But we knew we were going to have to go hot anyway because of that person there. Either way, we've now come out of that, and there you go. So non-target crew killed 12, non-target crew harmed 12. Alarms 1, we are the enigma because there is no living witnesses. <laughs> No witnesses when they're not alive. And also, injury suffered unscathed. 40 generic units of currency. Not bad at all. We'll have a look at our special stock, and you can see we've got an overpriced quick fire shotgun, which is 39 generic units of currency. That's quite good. Lethal causes people to die usually forever. Uh, the long blade and a short blade. Uh, it's quick recovery, the short blade, but the long blade uh, allows us to uh, dash 8 meters, where the short blade is only a 2 meter dash. Also, the short blade is very quiet. Well, same as the long blade, really. Got a wrench, which is a concussive weapon so it knocks people out and an overpriced mystery crate which we're not going to touch right okay get another mission we've got a mission here which is assassinate tesh truth and that is a note from fiasco if we do the secondary mission on that we do get 40 percent off our main fee for uh, the, the the main mission but we're not going to do that we're not going to bother with that um the guards are armed with shotguns and the bosses are armed with a heat sensor and guns and it's a lot of guards so there's a lot of guards around here so we will accept a rate that i don't think it's going to be um I don't think, well, there's no, there's no options. I have to accept it. I've set myself the challenge, so we'll go for it. The quickfire shotgun might be quite useful. We could probably sell the other shotgun. In fact, what I'll do is I'll send that to Stash and take the shotgun, because if we are going to uh, be taking the ship out, then honestly, a quickfire shotgun is probably going to be the way to go. Um, it was a... Yeah, so our time between shots is only 0 0.3 seconds. So quite honestly, we should be able to clear up a lot of these guards. Obviously, they have like some heat sensors and shotguns themselves, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So it looks like we're going into... Is this foundry space? Looks foundry to me. Yep, it's foundry, I think. And... Dung! And we're in. Okay, so immediately we are treated, well, by the sight of this thing, which is a... A sentry gun. Um, we could crash beam it. We could glitch trap it. I think we will crash beam that because, quite frankly, walking into that would probably be a little bit difficult. We are able to go in here because, obviously, this is blocking the way. And then there's a person at the back which, bang, they're now taken out. Excellent. So we'll put them in the corner. Um, I am going to try and do this as stealthily as possible because, honestly, there's no reason not to. There's no reason not to try and do this as stealthily as possible. Where's that person going? Over there? Okay, that's an interesting place. Well, either way, you are now taken out. There's no reason for me not to do this stealthily. Um... If they keep coming like this, I can just keep taking them out sequentially, like so. And we've now got a level 1 keycard. The whole point is that um, if I fire a shotgun, then, oh, this person's going to see me. Actually, they, they detect my uh, heat signature, so they start coming towards me. But yeah. Um, no point in not doing it stealthy because there isn't a time frame. There's no time limit on this one. E very easy to get the next level key because it's just going to there and activate it. Although there is someone coming along here. But uh, remember our mission is to... Well, personal mission's over there. And we can very easily get that. But I'm, I'm just going to go this way and then bang there and I'll take it out. I'll just put them in the toilet back here like so. And then we will... Well, we have to use that console and there's a person there as well. So I'll hold F and just speed it up and see if they guy, these guys move. Doesn't look like they are moving, however, there is someone running that way. Ah, looks like that person's moved. So I'm hoping that I can just sneak past. Actually, what I'll do, I might as well just take them out. There's no reason not to just take all these out. There's no, no requirement for this to be a uh, bloodless mission. So we will activate that. Go this way. This person's going to come round, and it looks like he's coming my way, which isn't too difficult for me to deal with because I will just step around the corner and. Oh, there are... no, no, no! I hate that. For some reason, it didn't lock on that person when they came round. So I am going to have to do something a bit dodgy here, but I want to do it stealthily. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my glitch trap. The glitch trap, the way it works is when you. <sighs> is that going to work? Ah, I don't think it's going to work, you know. The glitch trap, when you fight, when you use it, this is the radius it can be used. You right click somewhere and it places a mine at your feet and any enemy that teleport, stands on that teleports uh, you over. But I believe... 
I believe it, it's placed at your feet so it might not get him. And also if I'm standing there, it might teleport me. So that's not going to work. What I'll do, I'll try and be stealthy by flinging my blade at him. Which actually knocked him out. That's fine. I actually flung the blade. And I'll pick him up. There we go. So that, that was not too bad. Okay. So we will uh, pick up my blade once more. And... We'll continue on. So there's a person in here. Obviously, we might as well just take them out like so. And then we'll put them in this just meat locker or whatever it is. And we have access all to this area now. Nice crate there. Nothing around there I need. Can get through this way, but that's a level 3 key card. A bit difficult. I think the main way to go is going to be this way. Because what I can do, honestly, is just pause it. And time to go hot. Get the shotgun and... There's three people taken out. Obviously, that guy's going to say intruder. But that, quite honestly, I don't really care too much because I can just do that and take everybody out because this is a quick-fire shotgun. I'm going to turn the ship around because I don't want to go to wherever it was heading. Not that it will because they're now dead, but either way, always best to uh, do that. And then we'll pick up all of the ammo, which is uh, standard rounds. So, oh, there's also some rounds there which are... It's some armor-piecing rounds. I don't have an armor-piecing gun, but at least I've got the rounds if I do ever get one. So that's the assassination target, and quite honestly... um. That's dealt with. And you can see just how effective this gun is. I mean, they can keep running all they want, but quite honestly, you're coming down a corridor full of shotgun shell, full of shotgun shot, and it's just ricocheting around the corridor. Everybody's getting taken out. I'm taking all of the gear, and um, I now have access to this crate here, so we might as well go in and grab that. So we will see... Oh, a high-capacity stealth field generator, and that guy's now dead. We might as well pick up this crate and take the rest of the crew out and then we at least to capture a ship. This is a rechargeable long range crash beam. Very, very nice again. So we can we can do a lot of crashing. Um, how many shells do I have? Oh, I've got 72 shotgun shells. I don't think I'm going to be too bothered about going in here and saying... There you go. Oh, hang on. This is going to be difficult. I might get shot here. Hmm. Gun. And then that guy will try and follow me. And there we go. Not overly difficult, I don't think. Um, bit of a thinking one. You have to think about what you're going to do, but I guess that's the game, isn't it? Like, we could have gone hot straight away. Might have worked, might not. Either way. Send it to our next location. So, we've got good equipment. A uh, lot of dead bodies. Not something uh, we're really trying to do, but it's just the missions we're getting. And also some decent equipment. So, yeah, all right. Hmm. Two for two, 100% success rate so far. Excellent. So, we will wait until we get to here, and then obviously that's going to be immediate completion. Uh, 24 crew killed and Enigma unscathed. 64 generic units of currency, plus the side personal mission, which I believe is 160, 45% progress. Not too bad at all. Okay. So, we have a rechargeable long-range crash, uh, crash beam, a rechargeable long-range crash beam 5 of 5. So, we've got 8 charges for the crash beam. So, anything that comes with shields or things like that, we can easily deal with. Stealth field generator as well, but that's not a rechargeable one. Quick fire shotgun, quite good. And also, the rechargeable long-range glitch trap. So, what we've got is, I think, quite good. But we're going to go over this again and steal the Kodjit project, which is time limit 85 seconds. Lots of guards. Guards are armed with a concussive gun and a heat sensor. Bosses are armed with a concussive gun and emergency shields. So they are, it's one of those things where as soon as they are alerted, they will put their shield up and you cannot do much about it. So uh, I will immediately just get into my pod and head off. Now, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to say I'm quietly confident because um, every time something like that is said, it immediately goes to absolute pot. But I've got eight, uh, I've got like eight, op eight chances to turn off people's shields here. And that means if they do fire up emergency shields, I should be okay. So there's a lot of people down here, and I've got a time limit. So quite honestly, I think it is just go hot from day one and see what it, see what goes on. So I'm going to say left click for the shotty and right click for the long range crash beam. Go inside here and then just, you know, fire. And then there's immediately a lot of people killed. We'll crash beam that guy's... We'll crash beam that guy's... Uh, what you call it, his uh, shield, so we can take him out. We will go to there and pick that up. And we need to go to there for the pilot. So I'll just go down this way. I will fire another shotgun. That guy's taken out. Pick up that key card. Right click that guy. So they're all taken out. So look at all the shots I've got going out here. And bang, that guy's gone. And bang, that guy's gone. And 
bang, that guy's gone, and I did manage to take out his crash beam. Uh, sorry, I managed to crash beam. Uh, I managed to crash beam his his shield before he came around the corner. This is going to be a bit difficult. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take that guy's... Oh, I'm actually out of crash beam charges, so I'll, I'll put me the second one on, put that there, and then... Oh, hi, guys. Um, this is going to hurt. There we go. Easy. Um, not too bad at all. So we'll just get on that, turn this ship around, pick up a key card, and is there anywhere we haven't been? Uh, yes, we haven't been up there. So we might as well go in and have a look, see what's in this crate. And it's a rechargeable long-range visitor. Not bad at all. I will just say send to the stash because we've also got a high-capacity visitor there as well. So actually, we'll just say send to the stash. So all this is going to get sent back um, as soon as the ship's docked up. So we should be all right. Hmm. Three for three. Not bad. Uh, that's about a... That's probably two missions more than I thought we'd accomplish. I'm just going to hold F to speed the time up as we get back to the main station. And... Dock. There we go. So drop-off point is that. Job done. So Enigma... Unscathed, 17 people taken, and we've got a new liberation. Liberation, we'll have a quick look. We'll go for that one is emergency shields, that's off world security, that's a boost economy, and that is a key cloner. So we'll go for a key cloner because I think that's interesting. And boom, what sort of missions do we get now? We get bloodly, uh, bloodless missions, so we have to do missions where we don't kill anyone. Not really our purview, not something we really go for, but uh, hey ho. We'll see what we can do. Um, I will probably put the gun in. I'll put that, I, actually, I was going to say I'll put it to the stash, but there's no point. I might as well just fling it if I need to. I will take the long-range visitor, which teleports you somewhere and then teleports you back. But uh, let's just see how we go on this one. So the last mission is steal the web lace stillness prototype and kill nobody. Time limit 72 seconds. Guards have an emergency shield. Bosses have a gun heat sensor and glitch dash, so I'll teleport to you very quickly. This is going to be very difficult indeed. Okay, so what I'll do. I'll have to set up for this um, silent, uh, this uh, kill nobody mission. Now, technically, we can still kill everybody, but we just don't get paid the extra stuff. But I think that's against the theme of what we're trying to do here. So what we'll do is we will... Uh, we'll put the gun back. We will put the long blade back. And we will... Actually, do we not have a wrench? We really don't have a wrench, so I will buy myself a wrench. There we go, and that'll be the mission that we do. So here we go, and accept that, quickly go here, and then dock out, and head off very quickly. So 60, 66 seconds in order to do this. By the time we dock up, we're probably on about 55, if we're lucky, maybe 50, if I mess up the docking. So I'm just going to head this way. Obviously, D thrust as we're getting there. It's docking on the other side. I'm going to head around and quickly into this side. I have balls up the docking, and immediately we will pause it and we'll have a quick look around so kill nobody um we have to steal that if we knock the pilot out obviously we do get more time the only way to get the only way to get in as far as i can see is around this way and then it is knock out him and obviously i will have to take these guys out as well <sighs> however slight problem here there is a sentry gun there's a level one key card if i take that guy out i can stealth this way i do have a stealth field but i do need a level one key card first so if i can uh what have i got crash beam glitch trap stealth shield crash beam visitor and a wrench wrench is left click crash beam is right click uh, we will immediately go down and come this way and we'll pause it there we will say copy that looks like someone is coming around here so this is fine because i should be able to go bang that guy now taken out before he's um detectorated before i'm detectorated i will have to do the same thing to this guy so bang that guy's now taken out and then bang that guy's now taken out level one key can't gained we're gonna go this way and we then need to take out him and honestly i don't really know what the best way of doing that is i could wait that's going to be difficult. Uh, the visitor, however, um, the visitor allows us to teleport to an area and then you come back. So if we visitor there, we can then probably unlock terminal three. Although, actually, what if we just teleport to there, knock the pilot out, and then we teleport back? So now the pilot is taken out. We don't have a time limit anymore. That's going to help us out. Obviously, we've got another person coming here with a level two key card, and now they're taken out. So we've got a couple of people down the bottom. 
with emergency shields. Intruder alert, they've already detected me, so they know something's going on, but honestly, I'm not really too bothered about that because they can't do anything about it because obviously the pilot is uh, no longer there. I will knock that guy out with a shield, come this way, and finally take his mate out. There we go. Not going to bother clearing up the mess. I don't really see any point in doing that. And then we will take this guy out like so. Obviously, there's a person right at the end. What I'm going to do is get my... I think we'll go for crash beam. I will be able to crash beam his shield and say, oh, look, it's me, it's me, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's going to fire, miss, and then run at me, and then, oh, look, you've not got any shield to protect you. What a crying shame. Looks like someone's coming this way. They've already turned on their shield, but I will be able to crash beam that, and then I'm going to get shot here. Ooh, that was very, very, very close. But, um, you know, he's been taken out, so... That's fine. We do need to steal this prototype, so we will keep that. It's the Webless Stillness prototype, and then we will head back. So that is technically the mission almost completed. However, slight issue. There is a couple of guards in here that I would like to take out. Um, don't know which is going to be the best way of doing it. I could... Mm, do, I need to, do I need to do that? No, I don't. I don't need to take the ship out. I could take these guys out. It would be quite an easy task. But um, there's no point in risking it. It's kill nobody, so we'll get in that, and then we'll head back. Right. Job done. 4-4. Four, four. The reason I... I think... I had a bit of a love-hate relationship with the, uh, the whole pause thing. I thought the whole pause thing was going to be like... It would take you out of the moment. It wouldn't be like the gear. You know, it just wouldn't... It wouldn't be like... I just didn't think it would click with it. I thought... Mm, a game about fast pace hitting stuff and all that sort of thing it's not gonna work and then played it actually you know what without the pause I wouldn't be able to play this game it's like, like Hotline Miami in space if, if it was that I wouldn't be able to play it it's too fast paced when I used to play the uh, the prototypes where you could slow time down I found that quite useful but able to pause it and think it's uh yeah, you've still got the fast pace stuff, but, you know, you have to think about things as well. Right, next mission. This is Assassinate Hope uh, Elstring. Easterling, that's the one. Um, it's bloodless. Can't kill anyone. Apart from we have to assassinate the target, obviously. Kill nobody else, it says there. Sovereign ship. Serious guard kit, which is glitch dash guns and shields. That's not too bad for us. Okay. I think that's just a straight accept mission. Get outside and head off. Obviously, we do have a time limit again, 70 seconds, so by the time we dock up, probably 50. If we need to increase the time, then um, by all means, we will, by taking out the pilot. That was a good dock. Okay, so, immediately looking around, you can see we've got one, two, three guards here. Uh, one of them's got a shield, the other's got shotguns. I remember cannot knock people out. That's not something I... Oh, sorry, I cannot kill people. So I'm going to turn off that guy's shields. I will then go on and take that guy out. And then immediately take that guy out. Obviously, I will pause it. I'm going to take the guy's gun, put the gun on my left, um, and then... Actually, you know what? The wrench is going to charge up anyway, so we'll be able to just take that guy out. That's fine. What I was going to do is fling the gun at him. The problem with flinging a gun at someone is that if it f if you fling the gun and it hits them, it actually has a chance of going off, which is something you probably want to avoid. I'm going to just turn that guy's shield off, and for some reason, it did actually trigger the... Oh, I, I hit the door, that's why, that's the problem. I'll take that guy out, and that guy's glitched dash towards me, but he's now taken out because this is a very, very decent weapon for just knocking stuff out. Take the pilot out, so we now got as much time as we want. I'm just going to steer the ship elsewhere, and then we need to assassinate this guy. He, hit, he is, however, behind a... She uh, behind a... Behind a... Um, behind a door, but I should be able to just do this. Um, crash beam, turn that off there, and um, knock him out. Pause. Kill. There we go. Then I'm assassinated. I cannot go through there to get that, which is a shame, but what I could do is my visitor, teleport in there, um, open the cargo crate, an extreme range sidewinder I will send to the stash, and then what will happen is I will then get pulled back, and there we go, so we don't need the keycard. Although, to be fair, the guy with the keycard is coming around the corner. We'll take them out, and then we'll continue going. They've got a mate up here, but um, you can get gone as well. And then I think I will exit by taking a gun, signing the gun, shooting that, and then just remote controlling my pod, and away we go. Not bad at all. Pick up me, and we're off again. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. That was quite fun. 
That was fun indeed. Well, I did say I was going to continue on until I failed a mission. Or until we die or whatever, but quite honestly, um, I don't know how long that might take. Um, we've got the Enigma, Silent, Unscared, New Liberation available. We are really blasting through these missions. Um, so we've got one there for Unlock the Foundry. So we might as well do that to see what happens. What's that? Unlocks remote grenade launchers. That's a bit annoying. So we've got Vesta Station 22 in order of ourselves and also Audacious missions. Well, you know what? If there's Audacious missions going, we're going to have to accept one of those. Audacious. Assassinate, Courier, Castnia. Alarm response, 43 seconds. Lots of guard with serious guard kit. Guns, shotguns, and shields. So there's going to be a lot of guards and a lot of weapons and a lot of shields. Well, you know what? We didn't come here to chicken out, did we? Let's put that shotgun away because this isn't a silent one. Um, we've got our shotgun. We've got... Uh, we'll keep the gun. Why not? Um, high capacity visitor. Extreme range sidewinder is... Good, but it's only a one-use option. I'm going to take the long blade because that's a very nice, very very nice melee weapon. That's quite silent, and I think that'll do it. So we'll head off, and this could be, or this will be, the final mission of this little episode because, uh, quite honestly, running out of beverage, running out of time, and I think this might be the one that really knocks us over the edge. But uh, you know what? I've got a lot further than I thought I would. So here we go. We'll dock in. Foundry ship. Assassinate's over there. Dung. You didn't hear anything, lad. Sorry. And then we'll pause or it like so. Right. So we've got one, two, three, four guards in there. And we can probably go and take them all out with a big shotgun. So we will say shotgun there. And I will say probably the crash beam to crash beam that guy's shield. And then I'll just come around the corner and say, oh, hello. How's it going? And there's three people down. That person's down. Obviously, it's going to be say intruder. That person's down. And then we're just going to keep heading towards the target. So I need to go in here. I'm just going to fire at everybody because, quite honestly, I think I can. Um, there we go. There we go. Take all them out. Uh, crash beam that guy. And there we are. Oh, damn it. I got hit with the other shotgun. Okay, I think I got a bit too aggressive on that one. One might even say cocky, and I think that wouldn't be a... I think that wouldn't be disingenuous. Either way, we've picked them up, and... Yeah, they got to the station. What a shame. Well, that's the one we failed at. I could have done that a bit more stealthy, I'm aware. I could have waited and such, but with me running out of beverage and time, I thought, you know what? Nah, we'll just see if we can run through and... Uh, give it a sort of home run on the old um, killing front, because we've done like you know, the first couple of missions was pretty much that anyway but uh, hey ho, we did get back alive, it, what, what, it, it, you know, it is what it is, either way, that's been a bit of heat signature, hope you have enjoyed the video, if you have any ideas for challenges etc, or just want to see more of it then let me know in the comments and we will go from there, thank you very much for watching, take care, and generic partings <laughs>